Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. Chamber Exchange, a TV show, is an opportunity for us to have guests uh, who are impacting economic development and jobs in Worcester and in central Massachusetts. We want to thank Bank Hometown and St. Vincent Hospital for sponsoring the show and helping make it happen. So one of the things that certainly drives our economy here locally uh, is the arts uh, and cultural community and perhaps uh, few with more impact than kind of the Hanover Theater. And I'm pleased to have with us uh, as our first guest is Libby Scanlon, who's the artistic director, for, uh, the Hanover Theater rep and managing director of the Jean McDonough Arts Center. Livy, welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. Good. So, you know, for our, our viewers out there who may not, may have heard of the Hanover Theater, mm -hmm. which is called the Hanover Theater because the, the Hanover Insurance Company really made a commitment to downtown and to the arts and to this really iconic venue. Um, but that is one of several kind of complexes that have kind of grown and expanded kind of the arts and cultural presence uh, in Federal Square, also known as the Theater District. Maybe you could, for our viewers, Give us the chronology of how this started and what's in each location. Yeah, sure. It's quite a, a sprawling organization at this point. So the big Hanover Theater that you were just describing, 2,200 seat, beautiful theater uh, that was uh, renovated with the assistance and support of the Hanover Insurance Group, that was fully rehabilitated, renovated, and had its grand opening in 2008. So it's an incredible venue. It hosts all sorts of uh, Broadway tours that <coughs> stop on their way around the country. Also other major acts uh, like the Jerry Seinfeld and the Indigo Girls and other you know major nationally recognized uh, acts. Then in 2017 uh, the Hanover Theatre Conservatory opens. Uh, there's an adjoining building to the Hanover Theatre where we have our offices as well as, as all of our conservatory space. So the Hanover Theatre Conservatory serves students of all ages mm -hmm. from very small children up through adults. We offer classes in dance, uh, acting and singing primarily. Uh, and there's also a great many education programs like student matinees and STEAM workshops and adopt a school which brings students in to see one of the Broadway musicals. So conservatory and education <coughs> sort of really blossomed in 2017 and are continuing to to really uh, have a huge impact. Mm -hmm. And then in uh, 2020, very early 2020, uh, the Hanover Theater really um, opens the the Jean McDonough Arts Center, which is a venue on 20 Franklin right. Street. The venue is actually a program of the Worcester Cultural Coalition, which engaged the Hanover Theater to be the managing agent. And inside the Jean McDonough Arts Center is a gallery style space right. called the Worcester Pop-Up and a theater called the Brick Box Theater. So the JMAC has been open since the beginning of 2020, but you all remember what happened. Um, the thing called COVID, Yeah, right? yeah. so um, the opening of the JMAC, really the, the, the meat and potatoes of it was, was delayed by, by COVID. Huh? Yeah, and I, I think, you know, the, the, it bears mentioning, you know, the Hanover, the original building, you know, a major project led by major the w project. WBDC, partner organization of the chamber uh, with a couple of visionaries, Paul DeMoga, Ned Medaus and, and the community came together, people contributed and opened that, that facility and has been such a, a major draw. And as you mentioned, so many different acts, expands to the conservatory, access for young people training, bringing people down all through the week uh, into the That's right. downtown. I know some of the businesses down there have commented how that, that, that uh, presence and that uh, those visitors are really instrumental to their businesses. And then the, the JMAC being the most recent, also a building that the WBDC had worked that's to right. redevelop um, the old Telegram building. So really an arts district that's growing and, and you know, so COVID impacted all three since we're kind yeah. of coming out of there and th the things have changed in terms of workflows, production. How will you describe the current uh, situation? Yeah, well, uh, one of the uh, unexpected side effects of the pandemic was, of course, the big Hanover Theater closed because right. all of those touring productions were not touring. And so our colleagues in the conservatory did an amazing job pivoting to sort of virtual classes. And I was there, I had just been brought on 
I had been only working for about six months when the pandemic really took over. And so I had this, this brick box theater inside the Jean McDonough Art Center that was sitting there empty and unused when it had been intended to be finished and right. glorious and opening and thriving. So my background is actually in producing small, small theater. So not big, not big 2200 seat theater like you get at the Hanover, but small theater like what you get in the in the brick box and so with the big house shut down I sort of put my thinking cap on and and went to my boss Troy Siebels who's the president and CEO and said hey man I have a couple ideas for things that we could make ourselves um, to keep audiences engaged to keep serving audiences even while the big house is shut down and so we called this new program of our own um, uh, of our own productions, we called it the Hanover Theater Rep, and we kind of uh, impromptu started to use the brick box for the Hanover Theater Rep. So during that COVID year, we staged, um, I staged a, a socially distant <laughs> performance of a couple of Edgar Allan Poe short stories. So I was a solo performer and we had a limited audience, so it was safe and socially distant. That was in the Brick Box Theater under the auspices of THT Rep. Then Troy took um, the annual main stage production of A Christmas Carol. He brought it into the Brick Box Theater, pared it way down, turned it into a filmed production that we called A Christmas Carol Reimagined, which we also produced under the auspices of Hanover Theater Rep. And then in the summer of 2021, when we could be outside, we used the Hanover Theater Rep as a, a, an, a, an entity to produce um, Julius Caesar by mm -hmm. William Shakespeare live on the Worcester Common um, which outdoors. Which got some big crowds. Yeah, which yeah. got big crowds. So because of COVID, we started this program, the Hanover Theater Rep. We did these COVID-friendly projects. People responded well to them, and so there was appetite to keep the Hanover Theater Rep going even after COVID, and so the Hanover Theater Rep is now the program that we run inside the Jean McDonough Art Center. So Hanover Theater both manages the Jean McDonough Art Center and now also runs this program inside of it. And rep for repertory. Right, right? yes. Right. Uh, and so the other piece of this and another organization has been a major catalyst, catalyst in terms of, you know, the momentum that's really kind of grown over in Worcester and, and in certain parts of the city over the last 20, 25 years uh, is the Worcester Cultural Coalition. Correct. And they're yep. a partner in uh, this effort. That's right. So the Jean McDonough Art Center is, in fact, uh, leased by the Worcester Cultural Coalition. It is their venue. Um, the Worcester Cultural Coalition engaged the Hanover Theater to really be the managing agent, particularly for the, for the brick box space, because the Hanover Theater has all of the infrastructure already to run a performing space. The Hanover Theater is, um, is the manager agent of the space in order to um, allow it to uh, avail itself of all of that infrastructure. Yeah, and, and the Cultural Coalition consists of organizations like the Worcester Art Museum, uh, the Antiquarium, the That's Hanover, right. but small or much smaller organizations constantly bringing in new organizations. That's right, yeah, the Hanover Theater Rep is hardly the only program or organization that uses the Jean McDonough Art Center. It is available to uh, really anyone in the community. We, uh, we book it on a first come first serve basis as part of our um, uh, processes to make sure that we're equitable and accessible. And so there's all different kinds of performances in the Brick Box Theater. There's all different kinds of events and ex exhibits in the pop-up gallery style space. So it's really a, a buzzing little building and Hanover Theater Rep is just one of the programs, one of the organizations that's working inside there. Right, right. Uh, and, uh, you know, COVID's behind us now, activity coming back both at the Hanover uh, That's right. Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, as well at the um, uh, conservatory and the rep. Why don't you give us an yeah. update in the minute or two we have left? Sure. Uh, the next productions for Hanover Theater Rep are beginning rehearsal on Wednesday. We're going to play Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare in rep, in rotation, in repertoire, with a new play called Judith, which is a solo show that is inspired by Shakespeare and Virginia Woolf and sort of shares themes with Twelfth Night. So Twelfth Night will play four nights a week, Judith will play once a week, um, and those productions are coming up April 11th to May 5th. Okay. Uh, Hanover Theater Rep 
performing in the Brick Box Theater at the Gene McDonough Art Center. It's awesome. a lot of names. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> stuff. And, and then the handover is, is back in terms of booking the, the bigger shows, too. That's so. right. The bigger shows are on. I'm particularly excited for To Kill a Mockingbird, which will be playing on the main stage at the Hanover Theater, uh, at, actually overlapping with um, Twelfth Night and Judith. So if you love plays and you love things that are sort of in the classic canon, come on down. We have a lot for you. And if people want to go online, they can go to? TheHanoverTheater.org. Perfect. All right. Libby Scanlon, Artistic Director of the Hanover Theater Rep and Managing Director of the Gene McDonough Art Center. Thanks for being on and sharing uh, so much good yeah, information. Yeah, thanks for having me. Good. Since 1889, Bank Hometown has stepped up to bat for our neighbors. In the past five years, we've donated $1.3 million to local organizations that help enrich lives and bring people together. And we're not stopping there. We're always looking to tackle the challenges of today and fuel the leaders of tomorrow. No matter how life changes over the years, we'll continue to show up for our neighbors, for our communities, and for you. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.